This is how the worst day of my life began. A masked man closing in on Dunwall Tower. Now it's happening again. Another Empress falls, another story ends. Last time it almost ruined the Empire. Will I do any better? Delilah outfoxed me and I never saw it coming. But I was Corvo before I was the Royal Protector. Before I owned a sword, I fought with sticks and broken glass, whatever came to hand. I don't know what grand scheme you've got underway, Delilah, but I'll give all I've got to stop you. This campaign is rip. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight, and Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words, knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. Too late for regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, Please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. Megan is waiting for you on the deck outside. She seemed cagey earlier. Still more than usual. usual. Calls a boat. Anton Sokolov, once the designer of mighty ships thrown against the malevolent ocean and large enough to heave the great Leviathans aboard, thrashing and spilling their life's blood across the decks. Majestic ships, swift with luxurious cabins, fit for an empress. Where are those vessels now? They're far too important to carry in. brother so long ago would any of hey there you are i wanted a chance to talk megan people have called me that for a long time but it's a lie my name is billy lurk i remember seeing that written down somewhere a long time ago yeah I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. I want to hear you say it. 
Our leader was the assassin Dao, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to. You helped Dao kill Jessamine. Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did, but suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah, we've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did, or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it, but neither will I. No, I don't think you will. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff and I'll go alone from here. I can't deny it. Traveling with you has changed me. If old Samuel could see me now. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower. Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their gravehounds, but mechanical men. Automated soldiers. The ancient music was useless against them. Rest now. But know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed.
This is Delilah's doing. Rich magenta. Two hands sift and two hands bled. Make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stain, blue and blush. Conjure rainbows for her brush. Shade and hue, dig and crack. Crush and mix, eyeless black. Eight hands sift and eight hands blend. Make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained, blue and blush. Conjure rainbows for her brush. to reach the security room to restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working. But a few days ago, she was spending all of her time in that bleak little overseer chapel. What's afoot? What's she working on? She probably found it funny, using the chapel as a studio, mixing pigments where those fools used to preach their nonsense. But she moved to the throne room when she was ready to start her new painting. I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. No 
luck so far. No way he left. Nothing here. Like a man, but not like a man. Oil runs through its veins, rendered from the fat of leviathans from the deep icy waters. It has nothing to do with our mistress's magic. Not touched by the void at all. Could we make one of bones, I wonder? Like the grave hounds. Delilah could, with Brianna's help. She was always oh so clever with the bones of things. Machines digesting oils from the great leviathans of the deep. You should see who tampers with the dead metal things. Indicate some detection without certainty. Why is there a tree in the middle of the chapel? Delilah's new painting sounds dangerous. But I might be able to sabotage it. With more corrupt runes, maybe I could turn Delilah's painting against her.
sparks once more. Of course I gathered them at dawn. When else? We're good at once. Like she's the only one who knows how to gather black mandrake wood. The electricity running again, it's like mindless snakes. This place is somebody there. alludes to the machine. I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. in that.
I really hope that was nothing. What has Delilah done to the throne? If I change... how I will reshape all things. all the world with this.
What I've always deserved. My justice. Now what's always been marred and distorted will be perfect. I've waited so long. Sing my songs and lick my flesh. Worship me. And so the duke fell, and in his place rose up a man of the people. 
Paolo had come into the world with nothing, and knew the lives of the least privileged. Sometimes power shouts, and sometimes it whispers. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled, and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicene wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atana by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family.